So as we already know that research is search for knowledge between what is and what ought to be. And the difference between what is and what ought to be is always the gap. And the gap, as we already know, it is the research problem. We arranged our research problem in the form of a research topic. And now today, we are going to find out the research objectives, which are going to give us a direction on how we are going to solve our research problem. So in this discussion today, we are going to take a closer look at research objectives. We will see how they work. We will see what they are made of and why they are so important in guiding research projects. We shall also understand how research objectives are going to be formulated. So by definition, a research objective is a clear and summarized statement that provides direction to investigate the variables under study. So the definition also lets us know that a research objective is a clear and summarized statement. Clear and summarized, which means it is supposed to be on point because it is going to give us the direction to investigate our variables. That also means that without clear objectives, we are aimless and directionless when we are conducting the study. So therefore, without focused objectives, no replicable scientific findings can be expected. So now, let's look at the importance of research objectives. Like, why do we need research objectives? Why can't we do research without research objectives? But we shall realize that the reason why we need research objective number one is to have focus because a clearly defined research objective will help the researcher to focus on the study. The formulation of research objectives helps in narrowing down the study to its essentials. Number two, why we need research objectives. Number two, to avoid unnecessary data. Because the formulation of research objectives will help the researcher to avoid unnecessary accumulation of data that is not needed for the chosen problem. Number three, why do we need research objectives? For organization. The formulation of objectives organizes the study into clearly defined parts or phases. Number four, uh, it gives direction. A well-formulated objective will facilitate the development of research methodology and will help to orient the correction, analysis, interpretation, and utilization of data. Let's look at the characteristics of a good research objective. As we already know, a well stated objective must be smart. What do we mean? S for specific, because we say a good research objective should be clear and focused on a specific aspect or a goal of the study. It avoids being too broad or too vague so researchers know exactly what they want to achieve. Then M is for measurable. The objective should be measurable, meaning that there should be a way to determine if the research goal has been achieved. It's important to use concrete and quantifiable terms to assess the outcome. Then A is for attainable. A research objective should be achievable within the resources, time, and scope of the study. Then R is for realistic. A good research objective should be grounded in reality and aligned with what is feasible. So researchers should consider practical constraints and not set impossible goals. Then T is for time bound. The objective should have a specific time frame within which it will be accomplished. Setting a deadline helps researchers to focus and ensure the study progresses effectively. So those are the characteristics of a good research objective. Now let's look at the types of objectives. We have only two types of objective. That is the general objective and the specific objective. When we start with the general objective, General objectives are also known as the aims or the purposes of the study. It is the broad goal to be achieved. The general objective of the study states what the researcher expects to achieve in the study in general terms. So general objectives are broad and overall goals that the researcher aims to achieve throughout the study. As for specific objectives, they are short term and narrow in focus. Therefore, we are going to go to our general objective 
and we break it down into smaller logical connected parts to form a specific objective. The general objective is met through meeting the specific objectives that we are going to state. Therefore, specific objectives clearly specify what the researcher will do in the study, where and for what purpose the study is done. How do we formulate research objectives? When we are starting objectives, we begin with the prefix to. After writing our prefix to, we follow it with an action verb. For example, assess, find out, examine, determine. Then we are going to add our main theme. Let us use this example of a topic to understand how to formulate its own general and specific objectives. Factors influencing utilization of immunization services among mothers of infants aged below one year in Mulago National Federal Hospital, Kampala District. When we start to formulate our general objective, as we said, we start with our prefix to, then we add an action verb, then we add our main theme. So for general objective, we shall state it as to assess factors influencing utilization of immunization services among mothers of infants aged one year in Mulago National Referral Hospital, Kampala District. So now, let's look at how we can formulate specific objectives. When it comes to specific objectives, as we had said that specific objectives are obtained by breaking down the general objective into manageable parts, we are going to first identify the specific factors in our topic. For example, we have very many factors, individual factors, family and social factors, health worker related factors, culture and community factors. All these factors, you just have to only identify the ones that relate to your topic. Now, for us in our example, we are going to go with individual factors, social economic factors, and social culture factors. So when we are going to formulate our specific objectives, we shall use the prefix to then we add our action verb. In our topic of factors influencing utilization of immunization services among mothers of infants aged below one year in Mulago National Federal Hospital, Kampala District, our specific objective number one is to identify the individual factors influencing utilization of immunization services among mothers of infants aged below one year in Mulago National Referral Hospital, Kampala District. When we use another example of a topic, knowledge, attitude, and practices towards birth preparedness among pregnant mothers in Goma Health Center 3, Mokono District. For this topic, our general objective will be the study will aim at determining the knowledge, attitude, and practices towards birth preparedness among pregnant mothers in Goma Health Center 3, Mokono District. And for specific objectives, Mostly, you are already provided with the factors that you need to investigate. The knowledge, the attitude, and the practices. Which means when you're setting your specific objectives, these are the factors that you'll include as specific objectives. For example, our first specific objective is to assess the knowledge towards birth preparedness among pregnant mothers in Mukono Health Center 3, Mukono District. Our second objective, obviously, will be to establish the attitude towards birth preparedness among pregnant mothers in Goma Health Center 3, Mukono District. And our third one is to identify the practices of birth preparedness among pregnant mothers in Goma Health Center 3, Mukono District. So that is how we can formulate research objectives. For the action verbs that we use in nursing, we have to determine compare, to verify, to calculate, to describe, to find out, to establish, and very many others that are going to help us to quantify our objective. Then in nursing, we do not use such action verbs like to appreciate, to understand, to believe. We do not use them in nursing. And that's all we had about research objectives. Please subscribe and like this video if you're finding these videos helpful. We meet again. Bye.